שלום וברכה מוריי ואבותיי, שלום וברכה. בעזרת השם, בזכות הצדיקה בי חיים פינטו הקדוש ברוך הוא, בעזרת השם ייתן לכל הקהל, לכל הקהילה, ברכה והצלחה, בסייעתא דשמיא גדולה, מלכה דם וחטא וזה כאתה, זכות הצדיקה בי חיים שיגן בעדיכם, ושהקדוש ברוך הוא בעד השם, will renew the, today and to renew this week, the week full of ישועות, and that we will all be redeemed from all our problems, and that Hashem brought you to a place of true שמחה and ברכות על מנקים יצאו בעזרת השם. והנה רבותיי, ברוך השם, we are right now at a very important time of the year. Baruch Hashem Rabotai, just a few weeks ago we finished Rosh Hashanah in Yom Kippur, the beginning of the year. And in this year, we took upon ourselves many new goals and many new things that we wanted to achieve. Whether it's physically, whether it's spiritually, whether it's our promises that we've made to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, whatever it is. We all need to understand that in this period of the year, that now the year started, and we're getting into really a time of work, of ma'aseh. There's no chagim, there's no, um, uh, you can call it even distractions. At the time where Kadosh Baruch emptied out our calendar to allow us to truly focus on what we are supposed to be doing. We need to remember and we need to make sure that even though life is going to get very loud and that we're going to have a lot of things that are going to come into our way, those promises and those goals that we put to ourselves on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur could not come to a place of Chas de Shalom losing them. The Hasidim gave a beautiful story to explain to us and to give us a little bit of an understanding of what it's like. It's just like one time there was a very smart, important, uh, learned person, not Jewish, that he was known to travel from one city to the next, from one country to the next. And he would go and give lectures and teach all these uh, uh, brilliancy of knowledge, of teachings. One time, he arrived to the customs of a port. And usually when you come to the custom of the port, everyone take out their ticket, and they throw their ticket to where they are going, and then the man allows them to go through. So this very smart scholar arrives to the desk, to the booth, and he starts to look for his ticket. And he looks and he looks and he looks and he doesn't find it. So he starts to get stressed, looking at every single pocket, looking again, trying to repeat the search in the same pockets that he already checked. And the man that was the officer, the man that was standing in the booth, recognized that this man is who? It's the famous uh, professor. So this man, he looked at the professor and he said, you know, don't be worried. I know who you are. I know that you are a very trustworthy person. You are very famous. I trust that you didn't sneak in here. You definitely bought a ticket. So be calm. And the professor got even more stressed. And after he looks in all his pockets 10 times, he pulls out his bag and he starts to search his, pa- his bag. So the, professor, the, the officer, he said, calm down. I know you bought a ticket. There's no worries. Why are you so stressed? So the professor looked at the, the, the officer and he told him something like this. He said, I know I bought a ticket. I know that I have a destination. The problem is that throughout all this travel, I don't remember where that destination is. I don't remember what stops I have to take in order to get to that destination. All that information was written on the ticket that is supposed to, to, supposed to guide me to where I want to be, to guide me where I purchased the ticket to get to. From here, Abba we can learn something very, very simple. In life, we all buy tickets. What's buying tickets? We all look for goals. We all um, choose um, a place where we want to be in our life. And with that ticket that we purchase to ourselves, we also make like a step-by-step step, uh, uh, achievement that we have to reach in order to get to our goal. But you know, Abutai, with our life that is so loud and so many things that are happening with us, a lot of times we can lose the ticket. And we can lose the steps that we so clearly put in place to reach to our goals. We can find ourselves up with types of place where we lost our ticket. We lost our destination. We lost the steps that we were supposed to take to reach our destination. We lost the stops that we were supposed to go on. And that is how about that, something that we're not allowed to do. Especially in this period of time that's in the beginning of the year. You know, 
a few weeks ago we spoke to somebody and we were talking about the challenges of this generation and he told us something that I think is very very important he said you know a lot of the times we confuse between what is urgent and what is important a lot of the times in life we we know what is important we know what we want to reach in our life we know what goals we want to achieve but we are distracted about what is urgent and the things that are urgent sometimes can be confused about what's important so we come to a place that after we took care of all what is urgent we're left with nothing in our hands about throughout the year a person needs to remember and needs to hold on to the goals and to the destinations and to the ticket that we bought on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And we need to remember to, and that in order to reach to our destination, there will be steps that we're going to have to take out of the way. And if we miss those steps, it's going to lack care, it's going to delay uh, us to reaching our goal. We need to understand, Rabotai, that all wa- uh, what we wanted to uh, bring upon ourselves in this upcoming year, we need to take it into our hands now. And if we take it into our hands now, and remember every single day what is important and not just treat what is urgent, we could come to a place, Bezat Hashem, that when we reach to next Rosh Hashanah, we will achieve all our goals, spiritually, physically, financially, um, you can call it beneficial Adam, emotionally, um, with the friendship between a man to a man. Abutai, let's not lose our ticket. Bezat Hashem HaKadosh Baruch will keep us on the right path, we will hold our destination, and we will take every single stop within that destination to reach Bezat Hashem, to where we want to be and where we are meant to be. Amen.